Hey, a good day welcome to j4pc in today's tutorial we'll be talking about easy worship profile how you can create your own profile how you can export your profile and how you can import the same profile to another computer without wasting most of your time now let's, let's dive, dive in, in. Now, this is our Easy Worship interface as we are all familiar to it. And here is our profile. This is the profile here. So, if I may ask, what is Easy Worship Profile? Easy Worship Profile is an individual account that consists of one database in Easy Worship that can be exported from one computer and imported to another computer for easy workflow. Back to our Easy Worship. As you can see, this is the profile here. I've created a profile already. Well, let me take you through on how you can create your own profile. First, you come to Profile Manager. And as you can see here, New. You click on New. So, let me put the name of the new person that wants to handle this. Yeah, Ebenezer. And I'll say OK. So, this is it over here. It has been tick, but for me to use it, I will need to say switch to. That means it will switch to Ebenezer over here. Now it's going to ask me if I want to install the demo song, media, and themes. Yes, this is just as if you just install a new Easy Worship to your computer. So we click on install. And as you can see, everything will get installed. Mm -hmm. And I will click on close. So now for you to understand what profile is this is a profile here this is the default one let me go to this default one the one i've been using before let me click on it i'll just click on it so now notice something that in my media i have this background 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 in video see all of these they are in default profile as you can see and if you check my image as well I have this and if you check my camera feed there is none okay so but for you to understand what profile really is if i go over here and i click on ebenezer the one we just created now now look at the media part if you go to the media part you will notice something you can see now the other video that were in the default they are not here so that's just what profile is in easy worship. For instance, you might be two, three people handling easy worship in your church. So the, the way you set your own media, the way you set your own background, the way you set your own team might be different from the way other people use their own easy worship. So for there not to be confusion or a kind of a misunderstanding, so everybody should have their own profile, that is their own account. So whenever you are the one that want to sit on the media, you just click to your own profile. So you know that all the background that are here, all the pictures that are here, they are your own. They are your own. It is what you as imported into it already. And if you check your video as well, these are your own. And even so, song as well, the one you imported, they will be there. So that is what the profile is. It's just as if you create your own account that you don't want to deal with anybody's account. So, and if I should come back here to default. Now look at the media part. You can see there are so many videos. There are so many videos. And if you are wondering how you can get a bunch of video like this as your Easy Worship background, you can check our previous video. We did a tutorial on how you can import and where you can download it as well because it's already uploaded on our Google Drive. So just check out the video and check out for yourself. It's plenty. You cannot even use it all. Are you serious? So this is it over here. You can see. So this is my default. You can see I'm doing all this on the same computer, on the same software. So we have two accounts. So now I've shown you what profile is. Now let's go into how you can export your profile. So right now, if you are to export your profile from a particular computer, you will need this Easy Worship Profile Transfer. So don't worry, the link to download this file will be dropped down this video. As you can see, I have my flash drive here. So I'm going to export the, the file into this flash drive so I can use it in another computer. Okay, so all I need to do is to double tap on this profile transfer 
and now you can see what it's saying export profile from easy worship import profile into easy worship so now we want to export i'll say export and next so now it's asking me which of the profile do i want to export so we created the one for Ebenezer. So let's export this one and say here. Yeah. So it's asking me now that where do I want to export it to? Like it's asking me my source where I want to export it to. So I will click on this browse here and I will say, this is the flag drive I just inserted. I'll click on it. So I'm just to select the folder. So uh, let me just say Microsoft Word. Let me just put it here and I'll say, okay. You can see Microsoft Word on my Sandix here. So next, so I'm just export. So now you can see your profile have been successfully exported. Now close. So if I go to my flash drive right now, Microsoft Word, you can see this is it. Easy Worship profile exports. First, you open it, you see Easy Worship 7, and you see a lot of things. This you can see, this is the data. As like I said, that it is a database. So all my data are here. So I don't need to open it. So right now, this same file, this same file here is what you will need to import it to another computer. Hey, before we import the profile, if you find this video valuable, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. It really helps to grow my channel and it encourages me to do more tutorial videos like this for you. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking this video. So this is the flash drive where I export it to. This is the flash drive. But because I'm short of computer, so this is just the computer I have over here. But as you can see, we both export the profile from this computer to this flash drive. So had it been I have another computer here, I would have used it as well. But this is just the computer I have. So let me just put the same flash drive into this computer. So, but before I import the new profile, let me delete the one that is here before. Let me delete this one. Just delete. Just click on delete on your, on your keyboard. Let me delete this one as well. So we are left with the default. That is the one that comes along with it. So close. So right now, let me import the new profile. So this is the file over here. Double tap on it. Now I will say import profile to Easy Worship. Yes. Next. Now you can see no profile were found in this location. Please select another. That is to say, where is the profile you want to import into this Easy Worship? So I'll click on browse over here and I will say is on this flash drive as you can see and is on Microsoft Word. Then I say OK. Now you can see. It does not say anything like if the file is not being found or something. So all I need to say is next. So you can see these are all the profile that is in that folder. So but this is the one you want to import. I'll click on it and I'll say go, go, import. Now your profile have been successfully imported. So close. So if I go to my Easy Worship and check the profile. You can see you might not have it there. So let me shut this PC down and restart Easy Worship. So yeah, we've successfully reload our Easy Worship. So if you go to the profile over here, now you can see Ebenezer. Unbelievable, they're on their feet here, stomping, clapping. That is how simple it is. Just for you to export it into your flash drive. And whatever you want to go and minister, so just put in your flight drive and you import it over there. So if I click on Ebenezer here, you will see that we have all the same background and all the same song we have in the previous one. So if I come here, you can see now, you can see now that we still have the main five video that come along with Ebenezer. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. To learn more, please check out this video and see you in the next one.